Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. So last video, if you have seen my uh, video on Helix overview, you have might have you know um, understood that there are different flows, different uh, you know scenarios in in BMC Helix. So today's video, which I am going to take, is on digital work uh, place, or we call it DWP, or uh, we can uh, call it My IT. Uh, as it was earlier uh, named as my IT now it has been you know uh, revised or renamed to digital workspace so now uh, today's video which i am going to take is basically on uh, on on one of the you know service catalogs so uh, there is a there are multiple you know service catalogs here you can see which which we can you know some may be requests some may be issues are reported by the end user so this is basically a service catalog which we built for end users and then uh, they request uh, their you know whatever request they have from it they can request it through this catalog it's a self serving catalog okay now what we will see today uh, is we will see a basic uh, service catalog how we can build a service catalog and uh, how we can reuse the existing flow to build this catalog okay so for example in this uh, you know uh, flow you have this report and issue it's an you know out of the box catalog which has been uh, provided to you so let me click on it showcase you what exactly this is so if i say here request then it will ask me certain details okay so for example i will say uh, issue with my laptop okay and then uh, I have this impact urgency then I'll submit it okay so now my request is submitted okay now uh, internally what has happened let us see okay we'll go here in the smart, uh, smart IT console this is what I have already explained you so let me go here in the ticket console and here you can see there is a uh, issue raised which says issue with my laptop ok now you know teams will come they will work on it and then it will be processed now let's do one thing let's create our own uh, new service with the help of this particular flow ok so we will take it step by step so in this video I will explain you how to define a new service how to reuse the existing workflow and then how to you can define it and use it in the next video i will explain you how you can create your own workflows how you can define your own flows and then how you can use them in your services so now to define uh, your service catalog here it, it's a you know a step by step process so let's first of all go to that console okay this is what i had already explained you in my helix video that we have this um, you call it um, we can call it an admin console or a DWP configuration console whatever you call it but this is the place where you define the service catalogs now we don't go to the SRM and define the you know service catalogs then define questionnaires and then you know some access it from my head. this is not the way now it has been uh, you know now this is not the way now it is being uh, done in BMC Helix okay the process the scenario everything has changed here now let's suppose I need to define a new service so before going on to the service I'll explain you about what exactly this is okay now the service if you see here if I click on the view the service queue then you will see these are all uh, familiar service get like access card or uh, request for mobile request for more memory these are all you know IT requests now what happens here the flow how it works you define first of all you define a workflow okay so workflow is uh, the the process which we used to define it earlier in you know in ITSM as PDTs okay PDTs or AOTs initially we used to define AOTs then uh, when once these AOTs are, were defined that was at the field level then you used to define PDTs called process documents so then in that case what we used to do we used to define the flow that if 
somebody will submit this request what should happen to the request how the fields will be mapped to the backend application okay so or in in nutshell we can say that how the request will be processed in the uh, or how it will be fulfilled by the fulfillment application so fulfillment applications we have like incident we have work order we have change and uh, we have tasks but tasks are not directly uh, you know you related but yeah they have a role so we we um, uh, we have to, we define that flow uh, we used to define that flow sorry we used to define that flow in the pdt so then you would uh, you know uh, create a service catalog in a service catalog form and then you will attach a, a pdt to it then in the pdt you will have mapping for questions i'll not go into much detail in that i have already created a video on that you can go through my srm video to understand it well okay so then in the pdt uh you you will do, um, do the mapping and in in the srd you define that mapping enable the catalog and then it will work but now here the same process is done but it's in done in a different so here the service uh, srd or the place where you define services is this so here you will define the catalogs so service means catalog now pdt where you define use to define the flow that is done through workflows okay so the concept or conceptually it is same but there is there is a lot of difference here in in defining this okay so let me for example create a new service now let me go here so let's suppose now i need to define new service so let's say i will say here create new service okay so let me give it this service a name for example uh, i want to define issue with i want to define a service for my for for a you know for raising a request for a laptop okay issue with laptop okay this is a particular service for a laptop then template you can define where it will be like it's an it request hardware so if i let's say it's a hardware request and then i will say i'll not use this catalog so i'll say okay now you can see on the right side the service has been created so now the uh, service has been created but it will not it is not functional yet okay so to make it functional i have to define all these you know um, all these rows to make it functional okay so what i will do basically in the catalog profile i will edit it so it is just basic basic description of your service so you can attach a you know logo here for example i will let me use a random uh logo so i would say uh let me let me use any logo it's so fine for example let me use this okay so um uh, then you have to define the uh, description of the service so i would say issue with laptop so i'll copy the same thing here in the description but here you have multiple things you can upload your images you can you know define your you can give youtube video links so you can you can explore this more but this is just the basic description of a service which we need to define okay so i would save this now my catalog profile that means the basic information where in earlier service srd we used to define title description this is the same thing here okay and then we also used to add the uh, you know icons now the main part which is the workflow okay so let me edit it okay now in the workflow you need to define two things one is workflow one is questions so workflow basically is the flow of this catalog when it is submitted where it will go what it will do whether it should create an incident it should create a you know uh, it should create a change it should create a work order or whatever it, whatever uh, you know what you want to create with this catalog that you have to define in the workflow questions you know it is all same uh, similar to srd you define the questions here so first of all let's go and add the workflow so now in the list you see here this has been defined by somebody okay somebody has defined these you know uh, workflows so let us use one of the uh, so what we will do we are reusing them we are not defining any workflows we are reusing them i will show you how it looks like so let me say this basic service incident okay now i have defined my i have you know selected or reused my 
workflow then i have to define the questionnaires now when you click on this questionnaires so there is already a set of questionnaires defined for this incident so you can use it or through the actions you can define your own new set of questions so let me let me use this i'll not define anything new okay now i can edit this also if i click on edit so what i will see i will see the list of questions which are there for the for this particular uh, you know service catalog so all these questions were there in the workflow and here we have to define them or we have to define the mapping so let me first of all close this okay now we have a workflow we can edit it also so let me click on edit so now when i have clicked on edit it will take me uh, to the console where you define the workflow so this is a place where you define the workflow so it is a you know drag and drop console where you uh, use the you know these uh, processes predefined processes and you define a new workflow for example this create incident is a process already defined this also has to be defined through the you know uh, the process console that we will also show this is an advanced feature of you know bmc uh, helix so that also we'll show but as of now if you see if i go here you can see there are a lot of you know um, uh, you know components or uh, you know um, reusable components created for different things like active directory you have then approval request then awd marketplace as you let's not go there let's not uh, waste our time on that with this is so let's go here in the remedy part so if you go to the remedy you will see there is a predefined set a set of you know uh catalogs you have or you know components you have which you can reuse so one of them is this create incident okay so you can directly drag it here something like this and then it will uh work for example this one we have dragged it here and it is attached so we will we will explain you we will show you how to create this new workflow but that will be an advanced video as of now let's um, just understand this one you need to drag it here so when you click on this then it will here it will this process has certain input variables and it has certain output variables okay so initially it has a name so we we have used this one because as we are reusing it we are not creating it so then if you click on this create incident it will ask you for certain fields which are mandatory so these are the fields which are needed to create this incident for example correlation id login name then service type then you have uh, impact urgency reported source then summary and description okay so now if you see here the i have already the mapping is already there because i have reused the workflow okay similarly this correlation id we have used this process correlation id for this so this is and the remaining fields if you want you can define them but otherwise these are all optional fields if you see here only fields which are mandatory are these two okay the remaining are but needed for creation of an incident then uh, once this incident is created there is this received task you know uh, component which is uh, which is used here to uh, receive a task here in the incident okay so now um, th this is the workflow which has been defined we are reusing it so let's not uh, you know waste more time on this let's go directly to the to our service so let me close this i would say okay so i have not made any changes but if you want you can make changes in it for example in the description you can add something else okay so now the question if i go here and edit so if you see on the left side these all mandatory things are all coming from your workflow so these are all if you want to map data from your service catalog to the uh, workflow which was defined which you just saw so you can use this for example they have already defined it here like impact urgency incident type reported source okay so these are all um, already defined here and then in case if you want to define a new question you can you can always define a new question here by clicking here new question then you would say let's suppose i have to select i would use a text field says this is just for example laptop model okay so this is for my my um, srd or my service okay then i will save this so confirm update means it will overwrite these questions for the incident form if you want to you know avoid this thing you can create your own set of questions and then reuse them but let us confirm update so it will be added here in the laptop 
okay because if this uh, set of questions is used somewhere else then it will create a problem there so let me close this okay now my workflow is defined my questions is defined i will save this okay now currently my srd or service is in draft state so it is yet to be you know published then you can define your uh, this actions actions also are part of the catalog you can define we'll take it in some other video and there is that you can define the actions and then you can use them in the you know uh, in your services okay so let me not uh, go into that okay let's keep this simple then service level agreements if you want to define any service level agreements with your uh, service service you can define them here then cost and quantity you know it was already there in the srm also then cmdb you can also define a um, uh, ci it has to be for which you are requesting this. so you can define also this here in the in the service so we will not do this it is all optional so let's directly go click here and then say approve and publish now uh, i have already made this service as public public sorry public or i have published it and then i will close this so now if you can see it is here it is available here issue with my laptop okay now if i go here directly and try to find this request do you think we will be able to find it if you are familiar with um, you know my it you know uh, when we used to define it in service srm request and then there was a configuration needed before it is visible in the my it so same configuration is needed here you, what you need to do before it is visible here in the console what you need to do you need to go here in the uh, in the admin console of my it so which is this so let's suppose i have this uh, i have this this is my admin console for my it or we call it digital workspace admin console so what i will do here i will add this service into one of the you know catalogs where from which from where i can access it okay so i'll go to the catalog okay let's let it load okay so i have i want to make a request so it will not be there so say i would say quick links no so let me most common hr case okay let me see what is visible here because it is based on catalogs so i have something as well there is an error okay let me see something has failed there is an error so let me add it there okay so let me try to see where it exactly is. something has failed and there is an error okay so this is the basically uh, you know section where i need to add this so from here i have selected this section and then here i will say so you need to go here service broker items so it will be your uh, your issue 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 with the laptop okay wait wait i'll just go there issue issue yeah this is my i will request it i will just move it to the front select this let me move this to the and then we will save this okay now my uh, service has been you know published it has been added to the uh, section where it should uh, be present through my ar my it admin console and then i will just refresh this so this is something has failed or error this is a, uh, this is a section in my service catalog section so let's see if it has been added okay so you can see issue with laptop has been added as a new service here now let me request this so now if we have defined everything correctly it will create definitely create an incident or else we get an error so that also we will come to know that for example i will say issue with my display and then i would say impact moderate urgency is low laptop model is v1246 something like this okay and then i will submit this this request is submitted let's see it has if it has been submitted successfully or not okay i think it has been submitted successfully so let us go here in the my it console sorry let's refresh this 
sorry smart it console let me go to the ticket console okay so you can see here let me just okay so you can see here issue with my laptop so it has been oh, so, sorry this is the latest one okay so if i say here let me go to the so i was confused with the description okay so now you can see our uh, request has been created but there is a problem here this issue with my display okay so now this uh, this all is defined in the service catalog the mapping if you have defined it it will definitely come here but this is the same request which we have defined in the we requested it if i go here in the digital workspace open my ticket okay so if there are any approval because this is a issue so there is no approval so if there was this was a request definitely it go for an approval that we will also see some other time so but as of now this is in progress request id is 1414125 let's validate it here let's go back here in the console or i can uh, directly search it. so you have this console in which i can directly perform a search let's see what we get for this 14125 okay so this is the this is my request okay so this this is my uh, request which was raised okay so uh, this is my and then internally it has created a internally it has created an incident if i edit it here so this is my incident id and this is the other information which which i have okay so this is the um, then you can directly go and save it and you can uh, you know uh, like we have defined a new service here but uh, sometimes what you need to do you need to whenever you are defining this in new service so you need to make sure that you are mapping all the fields correctly so then your display uh, then you know uh, main information here as a description and everything if you want to define this then um, this has to be uh, this has to be done uh, through the um, your service console okay sorry in the um, uh, in the workflow uh, section you need to add those uh, variables or you will get those variables and in the questions you need to do a mapping i think we are not uh, getting the right ticket so let me see here what is the problem okay so let me take it type here incident this is fine it's already there uh, let's go back here let's see it says uh, in progress but here I think it's this one uh, no Think it's this one so uh, yeah sorry I think it's my mistake I had mentioned issue with my display so it is there it's there in the summary so issue with my display it has already defined it is okay it's the same same request which has been uh, i think the mapping in the description which we have done is not working properly so we can go back here anytime into the service catalog we can open our you know this issue with the laptop so then uh, wait a second let me go here i would say in the workflows basic questions i will edit them so we have reported source okay the description is already there
I think this is a we have a user generated questions, but let's it's a process question, so it should it should definitely map whatever we have defined there. Okay, now uh, let's do one thing. Let's go back here in the workflow. So let's see what is defined in the description. Okay, now you you got to know this is a real you know live application which I am uh, now debugging. Okay, so this is what I am showing you. Okay, let me go here to the uh, workflow because the description was not there. Okay, so I will go here. Then let's see what is description mapped. Okay, so currently, if I see here, see here, there isn't any field which is mapped to description. Okay, so let me see if description itself exists or not. Okay, summary is yeah. The summary of the case it's related with some description field, but it is we haven't got the description field. So let me do one thing here. Let me. requested so let's say uh, requested for user I'll just make a changes here full name as issue with his laptop okay so here I would say plus then you need to put this in inverted commas. Let's see if it works. When you save it, it will uh, see if you have defined it properly. Then it will not give you any error. It will clear, give a green message. Or if you if it is incorrect, you'll get error. So it has been uh, defined successfully. Okay, it is saved. So now let us see our. Um, the service is still published so we made a change to workflow so let's request it again let me go back here so let's see what happens now okay so I'm showing you the live you know ticket or uh, issue fixing so let's see here let me go back to the issue with my laptop again I will request it then here I would say description is test description or again, uh, not test, I will say laptop issue. Let's remember this. Okay. So I would say moderate, and then here I would say low laptop model. I would say one, two, three, four. And I would submit. Now let's see what happens when we have, um, you know, changed that description field. So let's go to smart ID here. Let's go back. So there will definitely be a new incident created. Yeah. So you can see what I had done. I had added user. So Alan Abrook has an issue with his laptop. So you can see on live, uh, you know, video we have fixed say, some issue with the the user, uh, you know, summary. So that description is, uh, you know, the description is uh, basically related with the summary. So that's why it was giving us something else. Now I have already changed it. So I had used full name. That means user has issue with laptop. So there is some spacing issue that we can fix. That's not a problem. You just need to give space here in this and then it will work. So, okay. So this is, this is it uh, from my side for this video. It was just a basic understanding of uh, what has been brought as a new in service catalog. You know, today you saw that uh, we defined a new service then uh, we used existing workflow, we modified existing workflow, we defined questions for the existing service and then we, um, you know, use that service to report an issue for a laptop problem. Similarly, you can define different requests for your, um, you know, organization, different catalogs. There are also, uh, you know, different ways to define bundle service. For example, if you see this uh, out of big box, just a minute, let me go here. If you see this out of box um, service catalog, offboarding employees, onboarding employees. So these are basically bundle services. If you see here, if I go uh, here, uh, then if I say here, so this is this uh, this particular catalog will have multiple requests. So for example, this 
bundle if you see anything written here as bundle that means it is multiple requests if i click on this so internally you will see there are multiple requests one two three four five so there are five catalogs internally linked with this particular you know process which is onboarding process so this we will show you in the next video how to define a bundle service how to you know access it and then how to use it okay so thanks from uh, my side please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon you will get to notified earlier and also please like my videos i'll be posting more videos on uh, bmc helix going forward thank you